Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna and I am so excited about today's video. I have been wanting to film it for about a month, uh, but I wanted to wait to give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth review. So as you saw from the title of this video, I am going to be reviewing Hailey Bieber's uh, Road Skin products. I have here the glazing milk, the peptide glazing fluid, the barrier restore cream, and then two of her peptide lip treatments. So yeah, I have a lot to talk about. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. So as I've mentioned, I've been using these products for about a month. Well, actually I've been using the glazing milk, the peptide uh, glazing fluid and the peptide lip treatment in Unscented for about a month. Um, but for the Barrier Restore Cream and the peptide lip treatment in uh, Salted Caramel, it's only been about a week. I was originally a little bit scared of purchasing the um, um, Barrier Restore Cream only because I am extremely picky when it comes to moisturizers. I like very very thick and rich moisturizers and um, I don't know I heard I watched a lot of reviews um, about the road products and I saw a lot of people describe this, the um, BRC like the barrier restore cream as very lightweight and I don't know, a lot of the time for me, lightweight um, moisturizers don't do much for me, so I didn't know if it would work for me or not, so I originally decided to pass on it, but then I received these products, and spoiler alert, I love them so much that I was like, okay, maybe I should give the BRC a chance. And at the end of November, um, Rode posted on their Instagram that um, for 24 hours only, if you bought any two products from their website, you would get the um, peptide lip treatment in salted caramel for free. So I was like, say no more. I am purchasing the BRC immediately. I also purchased an another bottle of the glazing milk because I love it so much. And I already used uh, about three quarters of it. Um, that's how much I love it. And uh, yeah, I'm so happy that I did. And for the peptide lip treatment, I originally purchased it in the Incented uh, version. I was very, very tempted by the um, salted caramel and the vanilla cake scent, but I decided to go for the Incented version instead just because, you know, there's always a slight risk that I wouldn't like them maybe. And so for the price, I just wanted to make sure that I would like it. But when I saw that I could get the salted caramel one for free, I thought that it would be uh, the perfect way of trying it out. So that's why I've been using these two products and the peptide lip treatment uh, for a month and the BRC um, and the um, peptide lip treatment in salted caramel for about a week at this point. Now, before I jump in, I wanted to mention a few things. Uh, so all of her products are vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and fragrance-free. The only products that contain fragrance are some of her uh, peptide lip treatments. I personally really, really like that she gave us the option to either get the um, peptide lip treatment in unscented or in different scents. But when it comes to the face products, none of them are fragranced. All of the face products here retail for 35 euros and the peptide lip treatments retail for 20 euros. She also has some uh, tinted versions of these uh, that are uh, 20 euros as well. I haven't tried them yet uh, personally, so I can't really give you my opinions on them but yeah I just thought I would mention it and one thing that I really like about their website is that if you go and see uh, their ingredient lists uh, you can click on each individual ingredient and see what it is why it's here what it does I think it's a really nice touch for people like me who are not dermatologists or scientists and who don't necessarily know every single um, ingredient out there. So yeah, that's really nice. So now that this is out of the way, let's jump into the actual review. So in terms of packaging, I personally really like it. I think it's very modern, sleek and minimal. Now the first product in order of application is the Road Glazing Milk. It is a milky essence that is going to add an extra layer of hydration. And generally speaking, I definitely recommend you using your products on damp skin. It helps with penetration and absorption. So on their website, Website, they describe it as a nutrient-rich lightweight essence that boosts barrier function and provides immediate luminous hydration. They say that it is going to prep your skin for a better product absorption and help reduce the appearance of redness over time. So in here you get 140 ml or, or 4.7 fluid ounces for 35 euros. 
And the key ingredients of the glazing milk are beta-glucan, which helps lock in moisture and calm the skin, a ceramide trio that boosts the skin's barrier function, a blend of magnesium, zinc, and copper that defends against free radicals for plump, healthy-looking skin, and hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant that locks in hydration. Now, I personally love hydrating toners, and before I discovered the road uh, glazing milk, my favorite hydrating toner was the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. I really love it because of its milky consistency, and as a dry skin gel, that is exactly what I need. I'm always in need of hydration and moisture, so I prefer richer and thicker products in general. So when I saw her launch this product, uh, I think it was earlier this year, uh, it wasn't available in Europe um, uh, at the time, I was dying to try it out, and I have to say it did not disappoint. This essence is just so nice to use. It is so deeply hydrating. My skin loves this stuff. It feels like a big glass of water or a glass of milk, I guess, in this case, for my skin, but in the best way possible. And I have to say it did kind of trump the First Aid Beauty Toner for me, just because it's even richer than that one, uh, but it's not greasy at all. It doesn't leave behind a greasy residue or film on the skin. And I still love the First Aid Beauty Toner, don't get me wrong. It's just that... I love this one maybe a little bit more now. It is just incredible. Now the second product in order of application is the Rode uh, Peptide Glazing Fluid. They describe it on their website as Haley's signature step to dewy glazed skin, a lightweight quick absorbing gel serum that visibly plumps and hydrates to support a healthy looking skin barrier. So this is going to be your serum step. It contains 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounces and I have to say that it's actually pretty nice. Usually uh, most serums on the market are um, 30 ml, like all of the um, ordinary serums, for example. Um, I have a bunch that I use and they are all 30 ml, so I actually think that it's really nice that uh, this comes in a 50 ml bottle. So it comes in a pump like this and it is a um, gel-like consistency, I guess I would say. But then once you start rubbing it into your skin, it kind of breaks down and turns into a serum and it is very soft on the skin. I personally love it. So in terms of ingredients, it contains niacinamide, which nourishes, brightens and improves the skin's overall texture. Peptides that visibly plump the skin and reduce the look of fine lines, hyaluronic acid again, and marula oil, which is lightweight yet rich in fatty acids and helps support and soften the skin barrier. Now, I personally adore this serum. I use it as my hydrating serum in my skincare routine and I just love it. I personally always want to have a hydrating serum in my skincare routine. I used to use hyaluronic serums a lot. I tried a few from different brands and I have to say, don't think that I will um, repurchase hyaluronic acid serums again. Just because, um, well, first of all, you find hyaluronic acid uh, in pretty much every single skincare ingredient out there. Your serums, your moisturizer, it's in everything. So I don't really see the point of using a dedicated serum just for that. And second, it's definitely a personal opinion. We might not all agree on this, but... I personally always feel like hyaluronic acid serums are always very like surface level. I don't necessarily find that they deeply hydrate and nourish my skin. That's why I was super happy when The Ordinary, for example, came out with the Soothing and Barrier Support Serum, I think it's called, back in September of this year. I have been absolutely loving it and I can definitely see the difference between that serum and hyaluronic acid serums. And so that's why I really, really love this um, paper glazing fluid, just because it's kind of in the same vein as the ordinary serum that I just mentioned. Um, it's not, they don't have the same ingredients, but I just mean that they um, provide more hydration, I find, than just hyaluronic acid serums. They go a little bit deeper and they're not as surface level as hyaluronic acid serums, in my opinion. And I can definitely feel a difference in my skin when I use it. So yeah, I love this serum. I use it every single night that I do my skincare routine, either as the only serum in my routine or uh, right after my exfoliant or my retinol, uh, just to counteract the kind of like drying side effects that these actives can have sometimes. And I find that it really helps. Now, the last face product from her line is the Barrier Restore Cream or the BRC. They describe it on their website as a rich but lightweight cream moisturizer to comfort, soothe and restore the skin barrier. 
our antioxidant peptide powerhouse delivers hydrated, smoother, softer skin over time. So with this product, you get 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounces for 35 euros again. So this is a moisturizer that is definitely more on the thicker side, I guess I would say. Now, I personally use the BRC morning and night. I definitely don't find it to be too thick for the daytime, but I have dry skin. So depending on your skin type, you might um, prefer something a little more lighter weight for the daytime. But I personally, have never had any issues of it pilling uh, with other skincare products or under my makeup and I actually find it to be a great base uh, for under my makeup. So you would use this as the last step in your skincare routine to really lock everything in and provide moisture and hydration to your skin. So the key ingredients of the BRC are shea butter, which hydrates and moisturizes with five essential fat fatty acids, including vitamins E, D, A, and L and toin, squalane, which is a powerful emollient that hydrates and softens the skin, peptides, again, to visibly plump and reduce the look of fine lines, acai, which is antioxidant rich and protects the skin from har harmful free radicals, and niacinamide, again, to nourish, brighten, and improve the skin's overall texture. So as I've mentioned in the beginning of my video, I originally decided to pass on this cream just because I was afraid that it wouldn't be enough for my skin, but I absolutely love this stuff. I am so glad that I decided to purchase it. It is everything I hoped it would be. It is definitely um, hydrating and nourishing enough for my skin without being like greasy or too much for my skin. It absorbs into the skin pretty quickly in my opinion and it leaves my skin really soft and plump. Now my moisturizer before I started using the BRC was the Dermina Crème Riche Hydratante uh, which I have mentioned in a few of my videos at this point. It has been my moisturizer for years and I don't think that I will um, stop repurchasing it if I'm being honest just because of the price point. Now both of these moisturizers are 50 ml however the Rode BRC is 35 euros and the Dermina uh, moisturizer is um, like 13 14 euros so it's more than half the price of the BRC so for that reason I will keep uh, using this one and probably like alternate between the two um, just because I, I go through my moisturizers so quickly um, I don't think that it would be like too sustainable for me to only use the BRC however I love 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 the BRC I am so happy that I tried it out and I will definitely be repurchasing it it's just a little bit too expensive for me to only use this as my moisturizer but yeah I'm so happy that I decided to pick it up and just the whole routine um, for my skin is just chef's kiss now the last product is the peptide lip treatment. I have two of them right here. I have the unscented one and the salted caramel. So you get 10 ml or 0.3 fluid ounces for 20 euros, which is definitely a bit expensive in my opinion. On their website, they describe it as a restorative lip treatment for naturally plump, pillowy soft lips, day or night. This dreamy formula li leaves lips looking glossy and works hard to nourish dry skin from within. The key ingredients are shea butter, peptides, Capuasu, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, I'm so sorry, um, which helps maintain skin elasticity, improving suppleness for dry and dehydrated, dehydrated lips, and Babasu, which is a rich natural source of lauric acid to support the microbiome and replenish overall skin moisture. So this is a rich and thick balm that is going to um, protect and deeply nourish your lips. I am obsessed with this stuff. It is just so nice to apply. It really fills in all of the lines of your lips. It leaves them really soft and plump and hydrated. They have a really good staying power. I cannot rave about these enough. This is what I am wearing on my lips right now. I actually first went in with the Rare Beauty Lip Oil in the shade Affection. I waited for it to dry and then I went in with a layer of the um, uh, peptide lip treatment. I'm actually going to apply some more uh, on my lips right now just so you can see. It is so good. I am so happy that I got the salted caramel one for free um, because as I've mentioned they are pretty expensive for a lip balm and I was a bit scared of trying out the um, scented ones just because um, you know you never really know like there's always a risk that you won't like them but I love this scent so much it's definitely a pretty soft uh, smell it's not overpowering at all 
and it's not overly sweet at all which i really appreciate and uh, i've had the incented one for about a month now i still have some product left um the only thing is i don't know if you can see but the cap yeah i think you can see the cap is very very beat up um it kind of started pilling um for some reason uh, the rest of the um, uh, lip balm didn't it's only the cap but yeah that's the only thing i have to say about this really um other than that i absolutely adore this product and i have nothing but great things to say about it so for my final thoughts i have to say i am absolutely in love with every single product that i have tried from um road they definitely have become staples in my skincare routine it just genuinely gives me so much joy to use these products. They actually make me like look forward to doing my skincare routine. I've always loved doing my skincare routine, but with these products, I'm actually like looking forward to it. They do exactly what I need them to do. They keep my skin really hydrated, moisturized, plump, protected. And I already used um, a chemical exfoliant, a retinol, the um, copper peptide serum from The Ordinary, and a sunscreen, of course, in my skincare routine to target my other skincare concerns and to protect my skin from the sun. And so when it comes to the rest of my skincare routine, I just want products that are going to deeply nourish and moisturize my skin, that are going to protect it, and that are going to counteract some of the negative side effects that uh, you can experience sometimes when using a chemical exfoliant or a retinol. And this is exactly what this whole line does for me. I have to say, if I had to pick a favorite, um, it would be really, really hard, but if I absolutely had to pick, I think I would have to choose the Rode um, Glazing Milk. I think that it is an incredible product and my skin loves this stuff so much, it just drinks it right up. Also, the peptide lip treatment, 10 out of 10. My lips just feel so good whenever I use it. I mean, it's really hard to choose because I genuinely love every single product from her line, um, but if I had to choose, I guess this is what I would pick. So yeah, this was my road skin review. I absolutely adore these products. I will definitely be repurchasing them and I actually already have repurchased them. I already have another one of the glazing milk ready to go for whenever I finish this one. And I will be receiving another peptide glazing fluid very, very soon. I actually ordered the uh, birthday duo that comes with the glazing fluid and a peptide lip treatment in the in a very pretty, like, shimmery pink shade that they came out with for Haley's birthday. I cannot wait for it to arrive. I probably will be doing a video on it when I get it, but it's not going to be until, like, January. So definitely keep an eye out for that if you are interested. And yeah, this is just a 10 out of 10 for me, the whole line. I absolutely love of each and every one of these products. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you liked it, I would love it if you could consider subscribing and also clicking on the thumbs up button below. It definitely helps me out a lot. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!